All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video, and today we're gonna be doing a mid fade, but we're keeping the long hair on top. So let's go. Okay, so to start off, we're just gonna clip up the hair, and we're using some duck clips. We're just doing this so we don't cut any of the long hair he has on top. So with the number two guard open, we're gonna go through and kind of debulk the sides. I like doing this because it makes it easier to see the guidelines and it makes the fading process so much easier. We're going to be creating a bald guideline using the Andes Slimline Pro Ally and this trimmer is not zero gap. I like using a non zero gap trimmer for this step because it doesn't leave a hard guideline. And when I'm doing this guideline I like placing my guideline on one side and then making sure the other side is at the same spot like they're both even and then I connect them both at the back. Now we're just going to go through and bald it out. With our babyless shavers, we're going to shave out the bottom portion of the line and we're going to leave an inch of space towards the top. Using our babyless trimmer, we're going to fade out that line we just created with the shaver and since this trimmer is zero gap, it's going to be easy to fade out. Now we're going to be creating a rough draft of the C cup lineup. This lets us know where it is and that way we can keep this area darker. With our no guard open, we're going to be creating a guideline that goes up about an inch. Now I'm doing the close to open method. So basically I have the lever closed all the way and I'm going up a little bit. And as I go up, I start opening the lever little by little until I'm all the way open. Using our one guard close, we're going to be going up like half an inch. Now on top of that guideline, we're going to be doing the close to open method. Try not to go up too high.
Now the line you see right here, we're going to be getting rid of by using the close to open method with the zero guard. Our next guideline is going to be done with the 1.5 guard and we're going up like half an inch. But as you guys can see I'm not really digging in, I'm kind of flicking out towards the top. Now we close the lever just to get rid of that line. Sometimes the 1.5 guard closed won't get rid of that line so we're going to be going with uh, one guard and using the corners just to flick out that line. With our thinning shears, we're just going to be going through and kind of detailing. We're just going to be hitting those dark spots. Now to get rid of that bulk, we're going to be using the clipper over comb and this should just fade it out completely. Now with the hairline, we're going to clip up the hair using some duck clips and brush down the hair just to make sure everything's laid down in place. We're not going to try to push anything back just to make sure everything is all natural and that way the haircut lasts a little longer. Now that we finished lining up, we're going to be using some Kiss Express just to enhance the cut. So my client came in wanting a mid fade and keeping the length on top and this is what we did to him. If you liked how the haircut turned out, please give this video a like, comment down below what you guys would like to see next. And if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And that's it guys, that's the haircut. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.